Okay, we're going to do a quick example of how to do straight line depreciation. The cost of the equipment is $200,000, salvage value is $20,000, the useful life is five years and 20,000 machine hours. So the formula for straight line depreciation, I'm going to abbreviate straight line depreciation is cost minus salvage value divided by the useful life. Okay, and if we plug in the numbers, that's 200,000 minus 20,000 divided by five years, and that gives us $36,000 of annual depreciation expense. Okay, and the adjusting entry that we record would be debit depreciation expense, and AJE is adjusting journal entry, to $36,000, and we would credit accumulated depreciation to $36,000. Now, I want to put a T account over here. Remember, the equipment account, I'm going to put this a little bit small. It's off the board. You're moving. Oh, okay. Okay, the equipment T account really doesn't change that much. When we buy equipment, we simply debit it for the cost, and that's, that's kind of what remains. However, the accumulated depreciation account, which remember, this is a contra asset account. And so this has a normal credit balance, and every year that we record accumulated depreciation, the book value of the asset goes down. The book value is your cost minus accumulated depreciation. And this is what goes on the balance sheet. We have to report equipment at its book value, which is cost minus accumulated depreciation. Every year, for five years, we're going to record $36,000 in depreciation expense. The depreciation expense goes on the income statement. The accumulated depreciation is a contra asset, so it goes on the asset side of the balance sheet, and it reduces the book value. So at the end of year one, my book value is two hundred minus thirty-six thousand, which would be what one sixty-four. One year later, I record the second year's depreciation, and now on the income statement again. Each year, $36,000 of depreciation expense, the book value on the balance sheet will be two hundred dollars seventy-two, dollars which would be $128,000. Okay, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to write a little bit smaller. End of year three, accumulated is $108,000. So my book value, two hundred dollars minus $108,000, $92,000. End of year four, I'm at what, $144,000. And I know it's getting small. So my book value, 200 minus 144 is 56. And at the end of year five, notice my accumulated is 180. My book value, 200 minus 180, is 20,000, which is also my salvage value. Once your book value equals your salvage value, you can no longer record any more depreciation. You can still own the asset for years, but you can't record any more depreciation expense. Now, this was annual depreciation. If I wanted to record monthly depreciation, I would simply divide this number by 12, and you get, what, $3,000 per month. Okay? So that is how we do straight-line depreciation. Again, the formula is cost minus salvage value divided by useful life, and each year we would record 36,000 of annual depreciation expense.